Hello everybody, let us examine the difference between an indefinite integral and a definite integral. On the left hand side, we have an example of an indefinite integral. And as we can see, we have no limits in this integral. So we integrate x with respect to x. So we will have x to the power 1 plus 1 all over 1 plus 1 plus some constant c. That will give us x squared over 2 plus c, where c is the constant of integration. So whenever we do an evaluation of an indefinite integral, we always end up with a constant of integration c. Let's look at this other problem on the right hand side showing a definite integral and in this case we are provided with limits for our integral so we are integrating x with respect to x between the limits of 0 and 3 so let's evaluate this, this would be x squared over 2 between the limits of 3 and 0 we then substitute 3 for x, so we will have 3 squared over 2, subtract, substituting 0 for x, we have 0 squared over 2. And we work this out, 3 3 is a 9 over 2, subtract 0 times 0 is 0 over 2, which is just 0. So our answer is 9 over 2. And this is our final answer. As we can see, there is no constant of integration when we are evaluating a definite integral. So remember these differences between the indefinite and definite integral. Thanks for watching. Good luck in your studies.